Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Wednesday the 17th. Good day in the markets yesterday, quite a big recovery after the consolidation Monday. So quite a lot of those potential swings on the daily time frame either triggering or getting very close to trigger there. So I just wanted to look at one of those today as well. The one that we did the video for yesterday, CCE has already triggered. So we'll have a quick look at that at the end. Uh, but first of all, in our members area, we give our members the opportunity to download spreadsheets every single day for potential long fifth wave trades and short fifth wave trades on the 60 minute, the daily and the weekly time frame. So in the long fifth wave trade section, we the it, members just simply click on the image, download the spreadsheet. Spreadsheet today looks something like this. Now, there's not too many today because yesterday there's a big long list and they just moved into the criteria for entering. So this is where, if we just go back to the website slightly, this is where it's important that we've got these backdated um, issues because the ones for yesterday are still good and these should be building your watch list up for potential long fifth wave trades, uh, the daily and the weekly. So this is why we keep all of these and these are each day keep adding to your watch list and we'll go through the criteria for the entry for these and you'll see how that to represents onto the chart. So on today's spreadsheet, I've gone for CDNA on the daily time frame. So let's have a quick look at that. So this is our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Think or Swim platform. It's also available for TradeStation, NinjaTrader and MultiCharts. But I'm going to use the Think or Swim platform today. Uh, so first of all, we've got to identify the trend. And as you can see, this year, from the beginning of this year, we've been in a great bullish move. And this recent correction in the markets has caused this profit taking in this stock, CDNA. Our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite automatically labels the, um, the, the Elliott Waves. And it's this wave four that we're interested in right now and how that's behaving. So let's have a closer look at this. So first of all, there's a few filters that we use in our stock scanner membership. So the first is that we've had a pullback against that main trend. It's a wave four. It's pulled back into one of our automated probability zones. OK, so this green zone, this pullback zone here is an 85 percent probability. If it finds support in here, it will go on and make that new fifth wave high into our automated target zone up here in blue around about thirty two dollars. The next is the performance of this wave four. So the middle of the three subcharts down the bottom here is the 535 oscillator. This is pulled back during the wave four between 90 and 140 percent. And as long as it stays in with those in within those parameters, we are looking great. The next filter for the stock scanner membership is our false breakout stochastic. So the big yellow line at the top here in the overbought zone denotes a really strong bullish trend. When the stochastic pulls back against there and crosses over into the oversold zone, the likelihood is it wants to return to that main bullish trend. Some more small observations. We had a great accumulation day with volume yesterday. Really, really powerful volume day yesterday. Good price action closed near the high. So really good move away from those wave four lows. But we need confirmation. So we've got to be careful with our entry. And third and then secondly, uh, another observation I've put one of our it's this is our, from our day trading add on suite. It's our multiple time frame dot cloud. Now, all I've done is adjusted the parameters of this. There are other things in the day trading add on suite, but I use this for stocks swing trading as well. The bottom row of dots here, green, is the monthly time frame. And that green shows us on the monthly time frame, we are above our special W5T EMA cloud on the monthly, denoting a really strong bullish trend. The next uh, dot of uh, line of dots is the weekly time frame. And then four days, two days, and then the daily where we are right now. So we're in the daily when it's cyan like this, we're in the cloud. We're just waiting to push back up. The the, the green dots on the here denote all all of the um, time frames are above that cloud. So really strong bullish momentum. So when you see these dot clouds, you see this is as a pullback, a really good pullback, and then starting to come out. It's just a, a, a that little bit of extra security there. So so we've we've 
you know, I've identified this really, really great wave four from this recent correction. We had a good day yesterday, good volume, all the parameters are set. Now the entry. So the entry today, we're going to look at a 2509. So above the whole $25 mark. Also above this little where the mouse is now, this little consolidation zone. It's outside, importantly, of our 6-4 moving average high for today's bar position. So reasonably conservative entry. This is our conservative entry strategy part of our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. So that entry at 2509, stop loss below the wave for around about 2118, gives us a risk to reward to one to two to the top end of our target zone there. In reality, in the middle of that target zone, $32 will be our target, and that's about a one to 1.8. Great risk reward, great looking potential trade there. So let's just go back, look at yesterday's signals video and put that up. Okay, this was a signals video from yesterday, just very briefly, CCE, it did actually trigger and close near the high with reasonably high volume as well. We can see that the, the 535 stayed within 1940 and our dot cloud went all green with the green square. So it looks like we are, it's a really good start to this trade. I mean, to be honest, that was quite a big range for that day yesterday. We could see some consolidation today, but it just goes to show you these, after a big correction, this sort of... Uh, software and the scanner membership that we have for these stocks really highlights some really good strong potential trades. Now this was an aggressive entry yesterday uh, but I wanted to make the most of that um, for yesterday. Okay so that's it for today. Have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.